going. Last night and this morning, Chad and I were standing and prepping all the doors, and we are pumped that Dennis Rodriguez is here today helping us prime everything. We have done a lot of work with Dennis through the past three or four years right. just as kind of partners in this industry. But Dennis in Midway Cabinetry and Cabinets has been a customer of Surf Prep for quite some time. Yes. When did you start using Surf Prep? I'm going to say right around three and a half years ago when I went down the whole rabbit hole of water-based coatings. Yep. Uh, you know, I met uh, Eric Reeson and then through Eric I met you guys and it's been a great relationship. It's yeah. really been a great relationship. Uh, the the film, the pads, the three by four sander, it's just changed the dynamic of our business, really has. I mean, it's moved us from doing all the hand sanding to being able to use 90% of it by machine. Using the three by four sander here, I mean, this, this little machine here has definitely changed the dynamic of my company. Uh, we used to hand sand all the profile on every single door. So we would use the uh, orbit sander to sand the flats and then physically have to sand all these details by hand and you know we'd have to tape our fingers up and we would have to go through a big process to do it it was a lot of manual labor uh, for average size kitchen it would take us anywhere from uh, maybe a day day and a half of sanding now we have one guy who does the sanding on the se same set of doors and he's able to do it in five hours so people talk about the expense of the equipment and how much it costs and the pads are more expensive and all that but at the end of the day, labor is our biggest enemy, and that's what costs us the most. So thanks to uh, people like Hannah, Skyler, and the Surf Prep family helping us out, bringing new products out, and it's just changed the dynamic of our business, big time. That's pretty cool, we appreciate you. Do you wanna get into a little bit about what we've been doing this morning oh, yeah. and what you've been rocking and rolling with? So we started out with some raw MDF doors. Uh, these doors were actually provided by Cabinet Renew, Denny Jams, uh, custom fabricates these doors in his shop. It's a solid one piece door that was cut on a CNC machine. So what we did this morning, while well, Hannah and her husband Chad went through and they sanded all the profiles and got everything really nice and smooth. And what they did is they used a very fine pad and 320 grit sandpaper to get it all polished up. And basically all you're doing when you're working on MDF is polishing the MDF to make it super tight. And what that does is when we put our primer on, it allows the primer to lay really nice and tight. It stops the grain pop of MDF, which is traditional, can happen, uh, eliminates all that. And they've done a great job. So first thing this morning, we ran one coat of primer. Uh, we put them out in the sun, we let them dry, and then we ran a second coat. So I'll show you a door that's already been, this has all been done in the last hour. Okay guys, this has all been done in the last hour. So backs are completely primed ready for level sanding, which I did a small little sample right here. It might be hard to see, but I did a small little sample here of how it sands. Sands amazing, feels amazing, and now we're running first coat of primer already. So we've uh, primed approximately 50 pieces this morning in about, what, an hour and a half or yeah, so between yeah. the three of us. You were kicking just, butt, just dude. Just going through, mowing through them all. Uh, we got a little spray system set up here in the, in the house. Uh, this is their home and we're working on this job for them but it's 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 working out really well and you know with the with the machines that we have for sanding and everything it's going to make short work of all the sanding we have to do on these doors sweet yeah all right guys so anyway we just showed you guys the the door that we had already primed and i'm actually going to go through the process and and prime one of the doors so today we're using the t5 uh sitting over there can right, you get it for me and uh, we're, we're using the, the Tri-Tech T, uh, T4, excuse me, and we're gonna run through some of these doors and prime some of these doors. I got a handful of them here. Hannah's helping me out. We're moving them outside. We have a dry rack sitting outside and getting the doors dried up. And let's show you guys how we spray a door. So we're also using one of Division Tools uh, spin tables. Uh, Brian is an awesome dude. He hand fabricates these. They're great spin system, great handles for moving the doors around. So any of you guys need any, need one of these, uh, this will be on your Christmas list for sure. Let me mask up real quick. All right. So we like to do a cross hatch, one cross hatch for our first pass.
and that's our first pass right there so we'll see if we can get that on camera and that's how we do it we get them all set up hey guys so we're gonna go through actually a sanding uh, process on one of the doors we have one of the doors that's got one coat of primer now the backs I'll basically just stack the primer we run one light coat and then two heavies on top of it getting it to around six total seven wet mills that was applied on the fronts we take a little bit different process I like to spray one coat of about three mils three to four mils and then we'll go through and we'll do a smooth sand on it and what that's gonna do is especially on the inside detail this is something that's always a little bit of a challenge to make them look really nice so by doing this it's gonna allow us to have our front of our doors looking really amazing so right now I'm gonna use the, the flat sandpaper the, and the, we're using 320 grit today and this is surf prep sandpaper and then to do the to do the profiles I'm actually gonna use this 5 mil which is a little bit harder and we're gonna do our scuff sand to get it smooth with the 5 mil and, and you can use either the 5 mil or the 10 mil either one it's just really a preference I use both today we have some 5 mil so that's what we're gonna do The key, the key with this sander and with any sander you guys will see is to make sure when you guys are sanding is that you keep this sandal, the sander nice and level and flat. Uh, one thing that I see when people are sanding, they're, they're using a lot of hand wrists this way and they're jerking the sander around. The tool is designed to do the work. Let it do its, let it do its job. So I literally just have a couple fingers on it holding it down and just keeping it level in, my, in the palm of my hand. The nice thing about the three x four sander, it really fits the hand well. It's really ergonomic, and it causes a lot less fatigue when you're fit when you're sanding. And this is one thing I love about this machine: it's compact and light, but yet still has the 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 power of what you need for doing the sanding that we're doing. So you'll see me when I'm sanding, you'll see me kind of kind of chasing it with my hand because there's a lot that we can get just from the feel also and feel if we feel any orange peel. And fortunately, the sanders do such a great job, it eliminates a lot of that. So we don't have to worry about that. So I've sanded my uh, smooth sanded, my flats, and now I'm going to go through and I'm going to hit my profiles. So I'm going to put on my 10, I mean my 5 mil pad and this is a uh, three by four pad paper and we're going to go through and we're going to hit all of our details so the nice thing about this sponge if you guys look and see is that you just push it in there and it conforms it conforms right to the profile and this is really nice for making uh, easy work of it before we would take a piece of sandpaper like this we'd double triple fold it up and we would sit here by hand you know for hours of a day sanding all this like this well, now I don't have to do that. Now we just do it by the machine. So we just take our machine, run it inside the profile, run it around the outside, and, and it's already done, it's smooth. Now, you still will need a little bit of this paper uh, if you wanna come on in real close. There's still some profiles, uh, like this little sharp profile, that you might have to take a, a piece of sandpaper and run it once or twice on the inside tight profile. The reason you want to do that is because sometimes even with the smoother, softer sponges, it'll roll over and on a sharp edge like this, we'll burn the primer off. 
So by using a piece of sandpaper like this, this eliminates that and you're able to still. But still, it eliminates probably 75, 80% of the manual hand sanding that we once had to do. The machines are amazing, okay? So I'm gonna go through, we'll work through this door real quick. And this is how I would sand the door every day in my shop. I'll just stand it up on its end like this. We have very similar sanding tables. And we're just gonna let the, the machine do the work. We're not rubbing it back and forth. We're not, we're not working the machine. We're letting the vibration and the isolation of the machine do the work for us. And, and this is really, this is really what, what makes the machine so valuable, is, is just that. It has a great isolation, very tight, and it allows it to sand the profiles extremely smooth. I mean, I wish there was field vision, but unfortunately there's not. But you guys will get a chance to see these if you guys make it out to the IWF show. You're gonna be able to get your hands on the doors that we not only worked on, some sample doors, and also some doors that we're gonna be doing some grain fill with some of the primers and using these machines to level sand them. And you guys are gonna be able to see how amazing that really works out. So here we're gonna, so here on this inside profile, what I'll do is I'll take the same pad. Now they have, they have oversized pads also. They have big oversized pads but I still like the firmness of a five or a 10 mil. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat that pad over maybe like a quarter inch. Okay, I'm gonna cheat that pad over about a quarter of an inch to the front. And then now what that allows me to do is it allows the sander to roll into rounded areas. So just like this. So now I can take this sander and literally get right into my detail, my profile. get all this get all this area leveled out nice and smooth like I said what we're doing here is we're just smooth coating smooth sanding the first coat of primer and what this is going to do is it's going to make for a great foundation for our second coat of primer second coat of primer is going to be sprayed approximately between five and seven mils I like to lean towards the heavier side and what that does is allows us to have plenty of build for level sanding so that we don't have any burn throughs. I mean, if you can see here, I only applied approximately three mils and even though we still had very little burn through, we had just a little bit on the corners and that's just three mils of primer. That's the nice of the sponge and the flexibility of the sponge being able to work so that it's not breaking those edges really hard.
we go. So, like I said, guys, um, this little sander here is changing the dynamic of our business and the refinishing industry. And, you know, this is something that you guys really got to look into. It's made sanding fun. <laughs> it's taken a lot of the hard work out of it that we were physically doing by hand. And we still have to do some hand sanding, but when you can eliminate 60-70% uh, of the actual physical sanding by hand and you have a machine that does quite a bit of the work for you, I mean, at the end of the day, you're saving money. And that's what it's all about in our, in our industry, in our business and what we do. So again, guys, hopefully you guys get a chance to make it out to IWF and get to see us all and meet us all. We're going to be going through all these processes there at the show Thursday, I believe at 1030, we're going to be doing a half hour seminar on uh, sanding, level sanding, uh, and all the whole process of refinishing using these tools. And hopefully we'll see you guys there.